सो हेलो एंड वेलकम फ्रेंड्स टू आवर चैनल इंट्रो में एक बार भी डिस्कस अबाउट बेसिक मैकेनिकल इंजीनियरिंग कॉन्सेप्ट्स एंड मेनी अदर स्टफ व्हिच इज क्लोजली रिलेटेड टू द मशीन डिजाइन सो गाइस वी हैव स्टार्टेड आवर न्यू सीरीज रिगार्डिंग द डिजिटल इंजीनियरिंग टूल्स एंड वी हैव कवर्ड सो मेनी अदर टूल्स सो टुडे वी विल बी टॉकिंग अबाउट ए फ्री ऑनलाइन न्यूमेटिक मॉडल सिलेक्शन टूल which is offered by SMC so this is a free software you can install it on your laptop and you can use it so without wasting time let's get started. before going into details you should know that what will you learn out of this video so very first thing is what system inputs are required so whenever you guys design some kind of product or say mechanism it is very important that you should know what are the inputs that are required for the designing let's say you want to design a system in which you have to push a 10 kg load now what is the system input here you know that 10 kg load you want to displace so this is the kind of system input and uh, many times it happens that the system is complicated so you are not sure like what kind of system inputs are required so at the end of this video you will know that how this digital engineering tool will help you to know what are your system inputs then the second part comes is like what output parameters are required to be considered so whenever you design something uh, let's say our example 10 kg of load you want to push so which kind of cylinder you will pick what will be its bore size now the bore size is the output parameter so this out digital tool will help you to decide which bore size you should select and it will give you some output calculations which will be compared with your input parameters so that is very important factor that you should know uh, that whether my system is safe or not with whether my selection is uh, say proper or not and then the third thing is how to use this digital engineering tool effectively to check the feasibility of your design so yes at the end of this video you will definitely know that how uh, this digital engineering tool will help you to find out the optimum solution because whenever you go to design something there are n number of different options you might have then you have to compare and choose so what if if you have a tool which is readily available and uh, it can give you the results within uh, a very less time so yes all these things you will understand at the end of this video so don't skip the video watch it until the end so let's get started started so you have to go on smc product selection tool on the google just click on model selection software the window will open now here you could see the different Uh, model selection options offered by SMC you don't even have to log in just scroll down and you can see different options available you can see the equipment list we have different options pneumatic cylinder drive system guide cylinders power clamps rotary actuators air grippers and so many other things so you can check out our previous videos we have already covered some of them so today we will be more focusing on the pneumatic cylinder drive system just so just click on that now here there is a option of download so this is kind of a application or a small software so you can see model selection software allows you to select an optimal system model to efficiently operate the air cylinder right so this software is freely available and it is a download version so you can see the link download the program just click on that and uh, a window will open to download the program now the window has open just click on that and submit it a pop up will be there and just hit on download and this application will get downloaded to your laptop or pc right so now we have downloaded the software so you could see what are the files are there 
now in all these files we have a model selection application file you can see it's an application file so just right click on that file and we have to open it so just click on it and you can run it as an administrator now the window has opened you could see the user interface for this one we have a new option history option and a lot of other options on the right side so let's just start a new selection with a standard circuit now on the left side you could see a pneumatic cylinder and some other components over there on the right side uh, on the left side we can see some of the options over there on the right side you can see the cylinder options we have a general single acting cylinder double acting cylinder single load and double load so these are the different options available in this tool we have the flow controller options we turn in and meter out circuits now these are the circuits and we have to select them according to our application so if you select meter in you can see the circuit will change so just click on meter in and you can see the circuit has changed now if we want the meter out circuit so just select the meter out circuit so these are the flow control equipments the arrangement of flow control equipments we have selected meter out the quick exhaust wall if we want we can use it then we have solenoid wall options we can select the solenoid wall according to our requirement we will select three position uh, let's consider the closed center wall so this is a three position closed center wall we have selected I'll just click on next and we have now other options to select you can see the full stroke we have this uh, stroke requirement so we according to the application we can select the stroke let's select 100 we are moving direction push or pull so you can see what is push and what is pull so according to the application we have to select it then full stroke time now this is uh, related to cycle time if we have a specific time we can adjust over here we can mention some times over here right then the temperature we have total length piping length we can give the speed control options uh, we can have directly on the cylinder or we can select the intermediate then we have to give the length at which it should be mounted so these options are also available so why this is important this will calculate the total volume of air that is required so for that purpose it is required now load we have different type of options over here whether it is a transfer or clamp or power so for what purpose we are selecting this uh, cylinder so we can have a clamp or press option so on that best is the application or load rate factor on the right side you could see the 0.7 or there is a 0.5 so on that base is the factor will get changed then we have a load mass option which is the most important so depending on our system requirement we have to give the load mass let's select 10 kg then we have a mounting angle option we can you can see it is currently 90 degrees if you change it zero degrees you could see it will become horizontal if you say 45 degrees on the bottom so you can see the orientation of the cylinder so depending on the application we have to select it so let's select 90, uh, 90 degrees so that will act as a vertical cylinder if we go with zero degrees then it will be a horizontal cylinder then the friction factor so it whether the load which you are moving there there is a sliding friction or rolling friction so depending on that the friction coefficient will be independent right so that is also an important uh, input parameter and you can hit the next now you have these many different uh, categories which are available these are the different series and if you click on the series on the left side you could see their specifications that means how much bore size available in this series what are the different uh, standard strokes available and all those things are all available on the left side so according to that you can select the series right then you have cushion options then you have cylinder model specified by the user or select automatically then you have the mounting options like the excel direct put mount or you have other options also you can select the basic type also then the load correction options are also available just click next you can select the solenoid wall series again so on the left side again you will get the description 
just hint on next piping options are there tubing you can select the tubing and now you have got all the selection results over here so on the left side you could see some of the graphs are there some velocity and acceleration graphs uh, are there some pressure graphs with respect to stroke are there so you will get a lot of data which is little bit difficult to just calculate by the hand so this software helps you a lot you can see the what is the full stroke time what is the startup time and what will be the velocity what will be the maximum velocity because the velocity will be changing with uh, respect to the uh, distance that's why you have a mean velocity and the maximum velocity so here you could see the maximum velocity you are getting as a 300 mm per second so on that basis also you could just determine the cycle times and all those things then the required airflow how much airflow is required what will the consumption per cycle so these data this type of data is important while you select the regulator or other things so this is very important data on the bottom side you could see what you have selected cylinder series solid wall series manifold silencer and many other things you will get a complete bomb over here so that is very important on the right hand side you could see the input values what input parameters you have selected on the bottom side you have an again the option of cushion calculation now you can see the cushion calculation and it shows in the red mark that is out of the allowable range out of the allowable range review the operating conditions and the load conditions or use shock absorber so it will give you an indication that uh, whether you should go with the shock absorber or not whether the load is within the limit or not so this is also helpful because mere hand calculations will not help you to decide it so this is very important you can have a start calculation options over here then we have condensation calculations so this will also see the condensation probability considering some absolute humidity and all those things if there is a condensation in the line the uh, the chances will be damage of the seal of the pneumatic cylinder so this is also very important and for that purpose sometimes you have a special type of uh, tubes which are available which avoid the condens condensation and then you have shock absorber selection again you have different type of options like the series you can have different type of series over here you can select that and check out some of the options and according to that you can select the shock absorber if you want You can just select the shock absorber so there are other options you could see the characteristic calculation you can again go back if you want to change some of the things just click ok now you have reached to the calculation uh, the characteristics part here now you can change the series if you want you can just check out the different options available you can tweak some of the inputs and again you can check what are the different system parameters so this is very useful application and it's freely available and it's a small application it will not take a lot of space in your PC also so again you have reached on the main page you if you want to change the options you can change the options if you want a double rod you can also go with the double rod calculations so let's go on the home again and on the right side you can have select standard cylinder circuit then special circuit manifold circuits brand circuit so these options are also available so we have selected the standard cylinder circuit now let's check out the special circuits just click on that just click on new now you have got two different circuits over here the two pressure circuit and composite component circuit you can just select whichever you want if you have come uh, composite system you can go with the composite now you could again see the different options available over here and it will change according to your selection 
so this is a circuit configuration configurator so this is how the software is very very helpful and you can use it for the optimum selection of the actuator so i hope this video was useful to you and if you have any doubts please do write into the comment section until then keep intro making thank you for the patient listening thank you Thank you.